Hi, my name is Jonathan E, and I am a fencer with the Carolina Historical Fencing Association. Uh, this is the all the footage I was able to sort of scrap together from my first tournament uh, this summer at Queen's Gambit up in Raleigh, North Carolina. This video has been a long time coming, um, but without getting too far into it, this is sort of the first exchange I had at Longsword um, with, against Johan Lopez. I got a hand hit here for one point. Um, these fights are going to go by a little quickly, uh, just in the way that I cut them down. Um, but it's mostly the full bouts, except for like the time in between and the time when judges are taking it. So there I got a, just, uh, a bend in the sword and sort of strike directly to his chest, and it cut his blade away, which got me three points, which ended out this bout in 4-0. Um, I get to fight Johan. Uh, again in side sword uh, on the following day after this. Um, I also fought against him in dagger uh, earlier on this day, but I couldn't find any of the dagger footage from then. Um, I've kind of been putting off making this video. Uh, I'm a college student and I kept putting it off because of other projects and stuff, but yeah. Um, a big thing to note about the way I fence here, uh, where I get this sort of very <laughs> funny uh, point on the hand. Um, a big point about like how I fence in, in this uh, tournament versus how I fence sort of now, even though it's been only a couple of months, I've been working at it. Uh, I started historical fencing at the beginning of this year, earlier in January, and a large part of my fencing background actually starts with sport fencing and Olympic fencing that I started freshman year college. Uh, only a couple years ago, so uh, I'm fairly new to all of it. Um, but a lot of those, a lot of those like sort of sport fencing, like style of, or all of my sport fencing habits, or habits I need to break out of when I started doing this um, with my group. And even here, I'm keeping only one leg forward. I'm not really switching it up. Yeah, really powerful thrust right there. Um, and that was a lot of. Yeah, so I. It was seen as a hit on my point, um, but it was ruled passe, which is very fair in that sort of sense, um, especially in the video replay here. But I was playing a lot from Posta Longa um, here, where I keep my blade out, and that's sort of how I fenced this entire tournament, which is, you know, uh, I've been told it's fine, but I'm glad that I'm sort of varying up sort of all the techniques I have. I have a wider range of techniques now, um, months after the fact. Um, but I, this was a very powerful learning experience, this whole tournament. Um, the person who's holding the camera in these uh, is mostly going to be Sean from Scala St. George in Charleston, and he was a really good coach. Uh, I was able to, because of that sort of uh, hit to the chest, I was able to get that last three points. This is a funny exchange um, against this guy. I wasn't able to talk to all of the people I fought against with a whole lot, unless I fought them multiple times, or if we were um, just happened to be in the same corner where our gear was. Um, that This is actually the first bout in the whole of the tournament, or the whole of like the event, where I actually doubled out this event. Uh, in the rule set for this tournament, doubling out means that both fighters lose that pool bout. Um, so it is to encourage less doubles and more sort of like cleaner closeouts and things like that. And thankfully now I'm been working on those in particular, but here it's still just a very noob. Um, it, it is just me as a noob sort of coming in and yeah, just playing from the front because I'm mostly used to quick in, quick out from Olympic fencing, um, trying to get singular touches um but it's a little different um i mean well a lot different but principle still the same um and so i'm mostly leading from my right side as i would do in sport fencing because i'm not really changing up my footwork either uh i'm telegraphing a lot of my footwork as well like my footwork is telegraphing a lot about what i'm about to do which is to my major detriment here. Uh, all these things after the tournament, after we've been reviewing this footage, uh, has been stuff I've been working on with my club. Um, I also like, for some reason, to give out a bait 
which gives them the perfect opportunity to get an attack in on me. It is providing them an access to... Um, well, I, I don't know if it's like a counter attack is the right word, but it's definitely, you know, to land a well-timed attack on me. Um, s using a longsword as a slashing implement um, has always been my weak point because I started with more thrust heavy because of Olympic fencing or because of like the sport fencing. And so, as you can see in a lot, in most of the longsword footage here, I'm mainly playing point, I'm mainly playing for time thrust and things of that nature. Yeah. This one gets counted as the last open double, which closes us out, and it's a double loss for both of us on the scorecard. Yeah. The video got cut, the person who was recording it cut it off before we were able to get the hugs, but good sportsmanship all around. Actually, I really do love this, um, like doing this kind of stuff because I've been meeting a lot of really cool people. Um, everyone's really it's like super nice in this community of historical fencers, and it's just so. It's very fun. It's very fun. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like there's the adrenaline rush of like being in sort of like this combat sport, but then also, um, yeah, just knowing that we're all like sort of geeks and nerds on our in the inside because how else would we have found and decided to like sort of stick through with this, um, in our own little ways, you know. But yeah, I get absolutely schwacked by this guy in this uh, bout. Like this whole bout, I believe, is less than a minute total, and that was a clean thrust to my chest. Um, just looked really nice there. Yeah, oh six, which I believe closed out this pool, and. That's all the footage I got for Longsword. I also fought in Dagger, which was the previous day, or which was the same day, and this is the following day um, in Sidesword. And here in Sidesword, uh, I'm fighting against Johan again with Sidesword and uh, Companion Weapon. I, I believe I get completely closed out here. Um, he got a hit to the arm on me, but yeah. It's... I don't really know how to describe it because at this point in time, um, I've been I've been missing the side sword lessons that our, our instructor Connor has been sure teaching, and a lot of the stuff I was trying to do uh, is stuff that is mostly from Red. But I'm getting better and better at side sword as the more I practice it. Um, certainly now I've. I've gotten a heavier pommel on the rapier that I'm using here so that it's better feel, it has a better sort of weight in the hand. But I get beat out in this uh, first pull bout in side sword. But it was all good. 06. But hey, you know. Gosh, there somewhere. I do like fencing Johan. He's a lot of fun to fight. He's very much like um, Connor, who's an instructor, as I said before. Um, this is Megan from Triangle Sword Guild, I believe, from uh, like at, in North Carolina, and this was a really fun bout because she was she was fighting me with a saber, and it was just a different thing to fight against. And yeah, um, yeah, I think they threw out that point, but it's hard to remember all of these, and sometimes the audio quality for what I was got isn't the clearest or what I have been able to sort of get out of all of this isn't the best because it's very echoey and also you're hearing everyone else's matches go on at the same time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he called that one as a double, which I think is very fair. Um, but ultimately, yeah. So this second day of Side Sword, I also fought Dagger. Uh, Dagger I took last in all the pools, but you know. Placement doesn't really matter um, to me here. It was more for the learning experience of just fighting other people, a whole lot of other people in that matter, for that matter. Um, and so placement doesn't really, you know. Winning's nice, but it's not ultimately my goal coming in here. Um, it's fun enough to just be in the ring. You know, I'm just happy to be here. Um, you can actually see my buddy Will behind me, who is also with uh, CHFA like me um 
well timed thrust. It doesn't really leave me. It it's left me super vulnerable. Um, like reviewing this footage, I'm kind of cringing just because it leaves me super vulnerable. Like if I miss or if I mistime it, for example, like that, which was a really pretty slice. But I think I clipped the side of the map. I was told that. Uh, I need to turn up my intensity from that match a little bit more because it was getting hard to see whether or not I was able to get those. So though the, there was a cut to the hand, I got a, gl a glance on the top of her mask, but no. This is Ashley Hanks from Sword Carolina, and I fight Ashley twice in this side sword event. This one with companion weapons where she absolutely beats me um, completely, completely, and then the next one in the second uh, pool where it's without companion weapons. And so you'll see that soon after this one. But there's that close out right there. But failure to withdraw. So don't get the points there, sadly. And then there, clip down. Uh, but Ashley is super fun. Um, Ashley and Sword Carolina, they organized uh, an event to fight our uh, sort of a mixed weapons tourney up in upstate Renfair, which uh, some of the footage should be coming out soon, which would be super fun uh, if it's not already out by now. Um, that was a whole lot of fun. Fighting uh, in, at upstate Renfair was a lot of fun. Fighting with more Sword Carolina people was super dope. Um, here's the second match against Ashley in the second pool set. Um, I'm missing a lot of the footage in between because there are some matches where uh, I just can't find the footage for. I don't think it was recorded. I, I think it's just like the people or like my peop my group of people just didn't hit record on the phone. Uh, but it's whatever. So this was a... This is sort of like the two. And I end up winning this bout, which pretty much puts me in which puts me and Ashley at one-on-one -on -one, so we need to have our uh, tiebreaker <laughs> um, we sadly weren't able to do it up so we because it was just so hot and we were all so tired by the end of that day but still here um, I get a cheeky uh, hit here I believe it's here Maybe it already happened. yeah no I already got that love it but here, um, practicing more dynamic footwork, and then clipping up across her mask, which Ashley uh, gives. So, great sportsmanship. Sure. And that's sort of something that I've noticed like, all around uh, in this group, is that a lot of good sportsmanship, a lot of good um, sword practices and things like that. And now here's my second fight with Johanna. I believe this is 06 again. Uh, like I just get completely closed out. But yeah. Johan fences a lot like my, like, as I said, like Connor, uh, which it sucks that I can't, don't have any footage of. I think Connor's video has footage of us fighting. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. It's late. It's like almost 1 a.m. by the time I'm recording this because I had to re record it because I had actually called us the Carolina Historical Fencing Society instead of Carolina Historical Fencing Association. Which is my bad, but hey, you know, you reap what you sow. And yeah, you can kind of hear Will and Connor in the background of this video. And yeah. I need to work on a lot of these skills still. Um, yeah. I think, I don't remember exactly the placement of where what I got inside sword but that was unseen by the judges and by the uh, pit, by the sort of ringmaster yeah so it got thrown out completely I I mean it looked I mean in the video it looks like Johan landed a arm a hit to the arm but here we are um, in this sort of last exchange that we got 
and a lot of these I'm cringing at because I just didn't seize the opportunity I had. Uh, yeah, and there it was just sort of like I was in a dis. I was just sort of not in a defensive position, just completely closed out. I hate watching through this. Yeah, but super fun, super fun. Also, Johannes is a dope mask, and I hope I get to fight him again sometime in the future. This was someone. Um, I only got to fight once, but their protective gear on their legs is super cool. I really like the sort of. Uh, I don't. <laughs> you see, if I don't want to sound stupid uh, for anyone who watches this and knows what it's called, but I love the design on it. I was gonna say heraldry, but that's probably not right at all. But they actually close me out here with their shield. I guess it's, yeah, it's a buckler. It's a square buckler, but. They close me out here because they close me and they get thrust clean to the chest. And I remember it because it was really clean. Yeah. I lose this next one. And then this other one. Um, what happened in this bout is that we end up doubling under the decision here. But it was actually a miscount of points and he wins four... Oh, or 4-1, I believe? Uh, I don't exactly have the HEMA cards uh, or scorecard pulled up again, but I do have it in the video, so it is in post. Um, a lot of these are just going to be doubles, and yeah. That was clean, but he, uh, but the judge halted it. I, I don't fully understand the reasoning why, but uh, we just have to keep fighting from there. It was a little weird. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Same thing, though. Get the same thing. Yeah, and so one point purple there, it should have been three points, and that's why he gets the four oh, in the end. In the scorecard. Um, so I'm glad he was able to get those points officially in the whole of the tournament. Because... Little mistake. Uh, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I throw out this cut. A little late. It's the Epe. It's the it's the melee Epe. I don't. Uh, a big, a huge thing that I picked up over the past couple months since now is that the ability to retreat. Uh, to disengage and to retreat and to just sort of hold off and allow the uh, you know my opponent to advance forward and to open themselves up during their advances and sort of seize that but that is the open double I believe the last open double I believe open double. Third open double. yeah but it was still one point him or it was still yeah I believe they gave him last four points and because that's all the video i was able to find i remember i had this video on my phone um this is a pickup with rachel um her club in georgia and i've, I've actually fought them or they've come to some of our practices and stuff like that they're super cool um super dope people but yeah uh i had a lot of fun finding a queen's gambit i really love sort of the community around historical fencing um and i'm glad that i've been able to pick it up over this sort of past year and I'm glad I, it's really interesting to see because I'll make a, a video will sometimes be made about like my year's progress from when I started doing this versus wherever I end up being by like January come January time and I say the improvements huge I don't and I don't feel like it's just like sort of me slowly building up gear and things like that but also just practice and practice makes perfect and I'm um, very thankful for Bo and very thankful for Connor who have been teaching me. Uh, shout out to Will who's sort of been, he started a couple months before me, but we've sort of been um, fighting with each other all the way through, like in the best way possible, you know, training with each other all the way up until um, now. So you know, our little motley crew slowly growing um, by the weeks. Well, that's all that I've got tonight. Uh, I hope you have a lovely evening, or whenever you do watch this, I hope you have a lovely day. And uh, thank you for watching.